You know, it's a funny thing, the Indians now, this AIM group have started something that now they're against me for some reason, but I am the only man in pictures that always gave them their human dignity. I never was in a picture. I never allowed myself at any time to do anything that would take their human dignity away from them, and that to me is the most important thing in a man's. I have found that a certain type that calls himself a liberal, and I always thought I was a liberal. <laughs> I came up terribly surprised one time when I found that I was a right-wing conservative <laughs> extremist. When I have listened to everybody's point of view that I ever met, and then decide how I should feel. I mean, but these this so-called new liberal group. Uh, Jesus, they never, they never listen to your point of view, and they make a decision as to what you think, and uh, they're articulate enough and in control of enough of the press to force that uh, uh, image out for the average person. For some reason, maybe it's these pictures, they have not been able to do that with me. In spite of what they say, People have not taken sides that I'm a, you know, uh, it hasn't affected my career in, in, uh, in popularity, let's say, <laughs> in spite of the fact that they've tried to make it do it. There isn't a hell of a lot to, that we can do to change human behavior. We keep making laws to try and change human behavior. You can't do it. I think you can accept it and, and feel how you would feel in that position. You're being conned into Keynesianism and socialism now. But it isn't going to stop the selfishness of human behavior. It isn't going to stop the greed. If you give, take $20 and give a dollar to every son of a bitch in a room and come back a year later, one of the bastards will have most of the money. <laughs> I mean, it's just human nature and you're not going <coughs> to, you're not going to whip it with a lot of ra laws. I think when you make people conscious, as communication gets better, and you make people conscious of somebody in trouble, starving or something like that, the average person will help. But of course now they've got so damn many charities and there's so much professionalism, you know, there's, uh, if you have a charity, you hire some professionals to work up the charity, by the time you get the money, you get four dollars for the recipient and four hundred dollars for the, for the administrators. So, I mean, uh, Christ, uh, I think there are people who uh, try to affect a thinking where they know more than some other son of a bitch and try to, and try to put a false impression on what human nature is. Christ's sakes, we have proven that we go back to hope uh, at the first opportunity. Just throw out a little fish and bam, they're out there ready to grab it. So we are optimistic. We have to be optimistic. Christ, what else would there be in life if, if, uh, if you lose optimism?